Good evening and welcome to Henry County Public Schools Family Connect. I'm Monica Hatchett and I'm excited to be with you this evening. It's been a great day in Henry County Public Schools. As you know, we're in the middle of a series on how to best support our students. We've talked with elementary teachers about what we can do to help our elementary students. And tonight I have with me representatives from FC and Laurel Park Middle Schools. If you guys will introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit about what you do with middle schoolers every day. I'm Nancy Wilson. I'm a sixth grade math teacher at Wall Park Middle. I've been teaching 35 years. I'm Josh Eanes, an assistant principal at FC Middle School there for two years and I was a high school teacher for five at Bassett. And we were talking before the show began that middle school is an interesting time of life for students. They have so much to explore. There's so much that they're learning on a regular basis. What are middle school students learning this semester? Well, we have um, new curriculum for math, new standards of learning that we're implementing this year. Um, we have, um, we are focusing school-wide on reading. We are focusing on vocabulary. Um, we're conferencing during our silent sustained reading. Um, we are working on vocabulary. We're working on writing across the curriculum. Those are some of the things that, that our school's working on um, throughout the year. Yeah, FC definitely is making a major push towards you know, writing skills and, and really focusing on, on whatever the content area, just making sure that whatever skills being taught is relatable to the real world, uh, real world applications, making sure that, you know, you're, you're teaching across curriculum instead of just this is my class, this is my class. You know, we, uh, I think our teachers do a great job of planning together, coming up with, with uh, activities and lessons that are engaging and also bring the, the world to the school, you know, inside those four walls. And students are beginning to explore so much more than what they had the opportunity to see mm -hmm. when they were in elementary school. They have lots of itinerants or electives that they have available to them. We were talking a little earlier also about the equity across the school division and that's been a priority for our school board to make sure that if a foreign language is offered at FC it's also offered at Laurel Park. So one of the exciting things that's happened this year is FC is getting a greenhouse. Tell us a little bit about the progress there. Oh, it, it, it's exciting. We've uh, we've been you know, from the very moment we found out we we're getting one. Miss Kalinsky, who is the ag teacher, she was excited, and she has all these ideas of what she wants to do. And being able to see the progression of the moment they broke ground to laying the cement floor to building the the walls and and, and kind of getting the plans around, and it's just been a, a new aspect of of a school year. You know, it's it's never the same uh, from year to year. So this one was was an extra exciting. Addition and so uh, you know, walking in her classroom, she's we're we're trying to we're raising chickens. Uh, you know, they they got chickens and ink or eggs in the incubator. We're waiting to for those to hatch, and, and the kids are excited about that. And you know, we we even talked about what other things we could do with them, and and so it's definitely a different aspect that's new to the kids um, and the amount of kids who wanted to enroll in the class. I mean, it definitely took root very quickly, and and I think that in the years to come, it's going to be, become a very popular program. And I think even that particular program, so many real life skills mm -hmm. taught there. You see the four C's within that. Um, we are we actually have our chickens, and they're actually selling eggs, and we'll sell the flowers so the kids have an opportunity to work in the greenhouse, and you know they'll they'll meet with um, customers that come in. They'll collect money. They do a great job. That's a great program. I'm glad y'all have yeah. that this year. That's a really good opportunity for them. The students do a good job of learning those leadership skills, learning those business skills. There's also a leadership class mm -hmm. that middle school students can take. What do parents need to know about the leadership course? Maybe you can speak to that more, maybe more oh, yeah. so. Uh, leadership class is, is it, the curriculum focuses on all right, what are some real world applications of software, marketing, kind of how to do you get the word out there. Uh, we also encompass our yearbook kind of within that, that group. And uh, they focus, and, and once again, you're looking at marketing, sales. Um, how can you reach the most people? How can you get the most bang for your buck? Um, and, and, and the whole point behind it is that let's see how many yearbooks we can sell. And it's got deadlines. And, and I mean, they have to. The kids have responsibilities. They have roles, and, and they have to fulfill those roles because if, if they don't, it's not just a, a letter grade. I mean, that that is a 
process. That is a procedure that shows them what it takes to be successful you know, in, in a job in the school. So it kind of gives them a taste of what it needs to be when they go to the workforce. And exciting. It's a, that's exciting for the it kids is. because they get an opportunity to see where their strengths. Is this something I really want to get involved in? So they're able to do that in the middle school, and that's exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, and now you were telling us earlier that you're a longtime veteran of middle school. And middle school, we all know, is a unique time for students, but there's a lot they need to learn. One of the things that I thought was most interesting that you've told me before is that this is not the time for parents to back away or to back off or to give space. What do middle school students learn socially at this time of year, and what do parents need to know about that? Well, this is generally the time that they want, they don't want to go out to eat with their parents. They want their own space. Um, it's a critical time because they're making decisions and parents, that, decisions that they're not probably ready to make on their own. So it's good for parents not to back off, to be involved, um, check their social media, you know, check with their teachers. You know, it really need to be involved as much as they are in elementary school because th this is a time when they're making decisions um, for friends, you know, what, where they're going, and parents need to be aware of what the kids are doing. If I'm a parent and I want to know how my student's doing with their academic or maybe even with social goals, what do I do to go about doing that? Or how do I engage the student's teacher or the staff members at the school? When we come back, we're gonna talk about how do parents get involved at the middle school level? How is that different than when they're involved at the elementary level and how they go about making sure that they are available and present as often as possible in school so that their student does feel that support. Please join us when we come back from the break and learn more about how to support your middle school student. Auto Rehab in Stanley Town. Dependable and trustworthy. Auto Rehab, your area certified auto repair shop. Using state of the art equipment for all your transmission and engine needs. From the simple oil change, tune ups, to diesel repair for all makes and models. Auto Rehab is your local dependable repair shop. Located behind Stanley Town Elementary School. Just follow the signs to auto rehab. Jerry's Pizza now offers a private meeting room. That's right, for parties and family get-togethers. Hot, delicious pizza made fresh with fresh ingredients. Daily specials and now offering a Saturday night dinner buffet. Jerry's Pizza, the best lunch buffet in town. Call your order in ahead of time at 638-3990. The drive-thru is open for your convenience. Never get out of your car. Call 638-9009. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. Family Pharmacy in Stewart is now open, proudly serving the residents of Patrick County. We'd like to invite you to come visit us and get all your prescription needs and health care needs filled here. We save you money on your prescriptions. We offer free delivery. We offer a family atmosphere. We treat you like family. Family Pharmacy in Stewart is located at 301 South Main Street, 276-694-4586. Come see us today. Piedmont Youth Soccer League Fall 2017 registration is now underway. PYSL Rec Soccer is open to any children ages 3 to 18. The registration deadline is August 15th, then games begin on September 9th with the season ending October 28th. You can register online at PYSLsoccer.net or call the Smith River Sports Complex at 276-638-5200. Also, be sure to find the Piedmont Youth Soccer League on Facebook for updates about on-site registration dates and times. Sign up today and join the largest youth sports league in Martinsville, Henry County.
Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we're talking with representatives from FC Middle School and Laurel Park Middle School about how parents can support their students. And before the break, I ask you to think about an important question. If I'm a parent and I want to reinsert myself if I've been away for a while or I tried to step back and I know that maybe I need to engage a little more, what can I do to be more involved in my students' academic progress? How do I contact their teachers in the school or how do I get involved at school? I know a lot of our, uh, <coughs> excuse me, our teachers enjoy email. I mean, it's so convenient. Um, you know, like we were talking about some certain parameters go with that, but if you need a quick response, email is great. I mean, I know our teachers always love, they don't want to be the only contact they have with a parent to be a negative consequence or, or something that bad had happened during the day. I mean, we want it to be a good interaction. I mean, we're here to support kids and, and help them and not to, you know, waggle our finger at them. Um, definitely other ways that, uh, we would love for more participation in is, is PTO. Um, we have, we're always looking for more people um, to, to join and, and help out. Um, Parent Portal is great if you need a quick check in and see how your suit's progress is going on. Um, I know athletics, I mean, we're always looking for more parent participation with athletics. Uh, coming in, let me, you know, if you let the athletic director know that you're there for what the coaches know. Um, and you know whether it's helping feed the kids or providing some type of snack or just kind of helping out when we can. I mean, all those are ways that I mean we, we're desperate need of help in those regards. We just you know come forward and talk to us, and, and we can make something happen. Now maybe I can't come to school, but what are some things I can do with my student at home at night or on the weekends to help reinforce what they're learning in school? Well, since I teach math, of course, a trip to the grocery store or, or a trip to the well, we don't have them all, but a trip to, to shop, right. um, you know, get them to estimate tax. Um, when you go through the drive through get them to es estimate how much they think their meal's going to be. How much change would they get back? Um, if, if they pay with a you know, certain amount of money, how much? All of those are things that they really need to be able to do. That's one thing they can do at home with them that really helps at school as well. And those are great lifelong practical skills right. that everyone right. will need. What about reading or even writing? How do I read and write with my middle schooler at home? Do you all have some ideas for that? Um, reading is so important that they're just reading something every night. And not just read. Read, can you tell me about what you read? Not just sit down and open the book and read. Can you tell me about what you, what you read? Um, how does that apply? What do you think is going to happen next? Um, encourage that lifelong love of reading um, and that that starts at home as well and I think it's important for parents to know that it's okay to want to read a magazine mm -hmm. it's okay to read a comic book as long as we're reading that's an important practice no matter what that venue is um, all also of our have students have iPads so they bring those home and, and they have the my on where right. they can go on and and find books that interest them that they can read right on their iPad so they don't have to go to the public library or they don't have to go to the school library or media center to get books. They have them accessed right there on their iPads. Now, mentioning iPads, what are some of the rules or things that I as a parent need to understand about my middle schooler and his or her iPad? Definitely um, make sure that videos and photos are school related. Um, I think that's one thing we run into is you know kids just being goofy. I mean it's not sometimes it's very innocent but it you know we find things and and just knowing that you know that's property of the division and and that I think sometimes the mishandling of the iPad whether it's physically or with the purpose uh, that can cause problems and, and sometimes the kids don't quite know. I mean it's a great tool to have um, and I think sometimes that, that just kind of helps supporting our expectation that this is just like anything else. You treat it with, you know, properly, with respect, uh, and, and it's a tool. And you don't just throw your tool around and, and let it, you know, get beaten, banged up. You know, we definitely want to take care of it. But it's such a great opportunity. Like we were talking about reading and writing skills. I mean, that that is probably, I mean, think about how much we read on our phones or, or you know, on our own tablets. I mean, so it, the, the days of, of books are, you know, where you just sit down with an old-fashioned book, it, it's, it's still here, but kids go to the iPad or the cell phone so much quicker and, and uh, I think it's just a great tool that we just need to make sure we utilize both in school and at home. We try to um, encourage no more than 10 pictures. No more than 10. 
no more than 10, no school related, but we try to really kind of monitor that and we periodically will take their, their iPads and check the history. Um, we'll go through to see yeah. what they're doing on their iPads. Um, they are pop property of Henry County Public Schools, so we ask that they not put anything on. Um, I think they have, um, they can actually put apps on their, on their iPads. So that kind of helps monitor that some. Now, middle school students obviously are much more engaged socially maybe than they were just even a few years ago. What are some of the opportunities that students have after school to be active with their peers in a safe and appropriate environment? We, um, at, at FC and, and at Little Park, I know both, uh, both schools, we have, if you're not, if you're not participating in an athletic event or, or you know, any type of sport, I mean, we have outdoor clubs, we have uh, writing clubs, we have poetry clubs, uh, glee club. I mean, we offer at least two clubs per, you know, your fall, winter, and spring. Um, we also have organizations, you know, you still have beta and, and that you can participate in. And, and there are so many things that, you know, we try to offer to mimic, you know, the high school. We don't have all, the same Event, events the high school does we just you know it, again we're not there um, but we do try to offer and get as much participation as we can um, with those clubs and, and events and um, you know any, any type of after school tutoring we can offer and SCA is always a that's that's always an option um, we are working this year and I'm sure you all are too of the possibility of doing some clubs during the day um, and offer that you know, so so that students have that opportunity during the day for those that can't stay after school. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we're in the process of working on, and I'm hoping we're going to get that um, underway this year. One of the great things about middle school is that our students have the opportunity to explore, but parents have the opportunity to explore with them. And there are lots of ways that they can engage teachers, they can engage the staff, they can participate in after school activities, and now there's the exciting opportunity to even participate in some of those clubs that they may not have the opportunity to stay after school for during the school day. One of the most important things about middle school is to ensure that students are growing and that they will be successful. Middle school students in Henry County set goals. They do an academic and career plan. They think about their futures a lot. What are some of the ways that parents can encourage that future thinking or forward thinking with their students? I think with, you know, just, just everyday life, you know, who you come in contact <coughs> with, um, what kind of careers they have, um, what do you have to do to be able to do that particular career? You know, I can remember being, we didn't have middle school, but I can remember being that age and not really knowing what was available to me. So I think parents could, you know, if, if, if they know people, you know, what do you have to do to be a doctor? What do you have to do to be a lawyer? What do you have to do to be a teacher? Um, that kind of opens up some, some thinking for years down the road. Maybe that's something I want to get into. I think education today, you know, it's, it's more about the growth now, and it's not of, you know, how fast we get to point A to point B. It's how much did you learn? How much did you grow? You know, what, you know, it's not necessarily do you have it or you don't have it. It's, you know, where do we come from versus where are we at now? And, and I think that as long as parents, students, teachers, and, and all stakeholders, have, you know, look back and say, well, how far have we came since we took this journey? Then I think, you know, from there, it, they want to, whatever occupation, whatever they want to go into, I mean, it is, it's a journey for all of us. And so I think just kind of reinforcing that growth mindset of, you know, we're, we're not here just to, you either got the answer or you don't. It's, you know, where do we come from and, and what have we learned from then? And I think Henry County really provides them with a lot of opportunities in middle school mm -hmm. to begin to make some decisions, some good decisions. You know, we have the electives, they can, they can try. We have clubs that they can try. So they can kind of, you know, begin to see where they're interested. Um, and they can try that out in middle school. And if it doesn't work, then they still have time to try something else. And I think Henry County does a great job with, the, with what they offer for students in the middle school. When we come back, we're going to wrap up with a few final thoughts from Mr. Eanes and Ms. Wilson as they represent our local middle schools and talk with us about what we can do to support our middle school students and their growth and their learning throughout the course of the school year.
Your face tells a story, one that is uniquely yours. Our desire is to help you recapture your natural beauty. I'm board certified through the Academy of Aesthetic Medicine and specialize in the treatment of wrinkles, facial sagging, uneven skin tone, dark spots, acne, and other scars. For our clients, we create an exclusive treatment plan using non-surgical cosmetic procedures and medical strength skin care to help you to age gracefully and to look and feel your personal best. It's the Summer Clearance Event at Blue Ridge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. For a limited time, get our lowest price on all models. And we're paying you to come test drive a new vehicle. You'll get $1 for every mile you drive from your home to the dealership. Drive a new Ram truck and you'll save up to $13,000. Or drive home a new Cherokee and save up to $6,000. Plus, get our exclusive warranty forever on all our vehicles. Blue Ridge Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Martinsville. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com. Piedmont Youth Soccer League Fall 2017 registration is now underway. PYSL Rec Soccer is open to any children ages 3 to 18. The registration deadline is August 15th, then games begin on September 9th with the season ending October 28th. You can register online at PYSLsoccer.net or call the Smith River Sports Complex at 276-638-5200. Also, be sure to find the Piedmont Youth Soccer League on Facebook for updates about on-site registration dates and times. Sign up today and join the largest youth sports league in Martinsville, Henry County. Elite Bookkeeping and Tax Service is locally owned and operated. Stop paying high franchise fees and CPA fees. Elite Bookkeeping is open year-round and most of all, affordable. Elite can handle personal tax returns, self-employment, corporate, and more. Call today to meet a caring professional at 647-7100. Located across from the Collinsville Post Office. Elite Bookkeeping and Tax Service. 647 7100. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we've been talking with representatives from FC Middle School and Laurel Park Middle School. And it's almost time for us to close, but what are some final thoughts? Things that I need to know as a parent about my middle schooler, how to help my middle schooler, and maybe how to get involved in school. Well, I think we, we at, in the school system, we try to educate the whole child. And so as much involved as you can be as a parent, um, contacting the school, you know, asking, questions, talking to your child at night, what's going on during the day, what did you learn, what do you still need help with, like all of that's so important, it's so important in the middle school, especially when students want parents to start backing off, that's when we really need to kind of step up, is in the middle school. I think just understand that the school does offer so much more than just the, the 8 to, or 8.30 to 3.30, I mean we, we have so many extracurricular stuff they can come in sports clubs uh, I know if, if we were talking about athletics earlier and, and reading and, and, and we also have robotics you know and, and that uh, Mr. Wade has been doing <coughs> a fantastic job uh, with coming in and, and kind of making he's a new year first year teacher kind of making that his own uh, I think the kids are, are responded extremely well to it um, walking in seeing them program robots and, and watching them go through an obstacle awesome. course awesome. that was designed and, and it was trial and error and then they had to go. I mean, it, it's just provides them with so much there. And so I just think that, it, you know, for parents to call the school and, and get in touch with our program of studies and kind of see what we offer them. It, it's not, you know, school today isn't school like it was 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. E education now is something that is ever changing and it's continually morphing into something different. And, and so I think that in order to be aware, you communicate communicate with the school and, and, and let's talk about you know what it is that my child can do and so I think you know definitely 
increase that communication between the, the school and the parent and it's all for the child and so I think that as long as we're all in the same game plan I mean that then there's no other choice but to be successful and that's an important point parents it is our job to support you and to support our students so it's important for us to work together if you are one of the very few parents that we have left who have not completed your InfoSnap student information update, that is crucial. That provides us information about your student that we need to know to keep him or her safe every day, but it also makes sure that your student can be involved in some of the activities at school, some of the programming, some of the publications that are made outside of school, inside of school on a regular basis. So if you have not completed that update, please make sure you do that. Earlier, you guys mentioned Parent Portal. One of the things that we've done this year is to give every parent access to Parent Portal once they've completed their InfoSnap updates. So I can download the app to my phone and on the go at any moment, check my students' grades, I'll get alerts about attendance, and get other important information that I have right at my fingertips so that I know that my student's being supported by the whole group of us, the school and our family, which is also crucial. Um, you also mentioned joining PTO. If I want to join PTO, what is the best way to go about doing that tomorrow? We have a PTO meeting tomorrow night. All right. And we actually have some students that are gonna be presenting um, some of the technology that we're using in our classrooms. So it will be a great opportunity for parents to come out and we will be glad to welcome them into our PTO. All right, PTO meeting tomorrow night at Laurel Park at FC. Probably not tomorrow night. Not tomorrow that would be night. Too, co too coincidental, <laughs> but they can call the school, correct? Mm, call the school. We can get in touch with the PTO president and, and we can get the ball rolling because that's one, I know that for both schools, that's something we're always wanting is more parent involvement, uh, especially in our PTO, because they do, our PTO tries to put on, and, and they do, they have such a wonderful um, acts of, of kindness to the kids in the school. So we, we definitely want to get more participation with that. Thank you all for being with us tonight. Parents, family members, students, if you have questions, concerns, compliments, or comments, please use Let's Talk on the school division or on your school website and share information with us that we can use to make the students' experience even better every day. We hope you have a great week. Are you or someone you know a person with a disability? Do you feel like no one understands? Well, there's hope. Disability Rights and Resource Center is here for you, offering services and assistance with independent living skills, peer counseling, home modifications, and much, much more. You're not in this world alone. Our professionally trained staff can help. Call 540-482-0752. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. It's the Bottom Line Sales Event at Blue Ridge Nissan. For a limited time, get our bottom line price on all models. Plus, we're paying you to come test drive a new vehicle. You'll get $1 for every mile you drive from your home to the dealership. Come in today and get the bottom line price on a new Titan. You'll save up to $12,000. Or drive home a new Altima and save up to $6,000. Plus, get our exclusive warranty forever on all our vehicles. Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville, across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com. Sign up for Pharmacy Text Alerts today. It's a simple, easy way to refill your prescription. Simply go online and register at www.refillrx.com or download the app to your smartphone. Getting your prescriptions just got easier at Family Pharmacy in Stanleytown, serving our community since 1996.